All right. Well, a local nonprofit wants you to experience a truly tasty affair featuring a farm to table dinner experience benefiting an important cause. The group, A Servant's Love, serves senior citizens locally and it teaches low income families about nutrition and wellness. The organization also offers a Harvest of Hope program. That's where fruits and vegetables are grown for the purpose of teaching and sharing with families in need. The Tasty Affair fundraising event will help to fund those programs. So I have two guests in the studio to talk more about this. Dr. Richardson and Lisa Davis joining me now with the details. I love that name, A Tasty Affair, and it is. It is. Absolutely, absolutely. So we're trying to get people to come out and support. Can you talk about why? I mean, we hear farm to table a lot, but I think for a lot of people, it's just a catchphrase. Mm -hmm. Elaborate on the, on the meaning of that. You want it? Okay, <laughs> well basically um, farm to table, because we have a garden, we've learned more of just the nutritious value of foods and rather than processed foods. A lot of our seniors that we serve are eating more of the processed and we're just trying to get people, encourage people to grow, get out, um, feel the earth, you know, enjoy outside and not be so focused on the inside. And I think a lot of people think that they need a lot of space to have a garden, but really you don't. You don't. We have done um, things, uh, we've got a two acre garden that we're working with, but we've also used raised beds. We've used any flower pot. Mm -hmm. I've grown lettuce, I've grown spinach. So you can use anything that you have to grow something and it does very well. Especially in this climate, you can grow yes. everything. Yes. Right now you should have had your fall vegetables already planted. Yes. But, uh, Dr. Richardson, I want to talk now about the nutritional value. I mean, we talk about the importance of making sure children get that lesson early on so it graduates when they're older, but the message can be repeated for adults too. Oh, without a question. And that's what's so exciting about the program that uh, uh, Lisa and her husband Rod have executed with a servant's love because there is a high concentration and focus through what they call their senior nutrition and wellness program to make certain that while we're providing fresh fruits and vegetables through the garden, we're also providing uh, canned goods and other types of products that are going to be low in sodium and have some of the nutritional balance that seniors and really all of us really require and need. Mm -hmm. Can you talk more about that balance? I mean, as we get older, our needs change. You know, you may need more vitamin D or can you elaborate on what sorts of things we need as we get older? Uh, oh, absolutely. Certainly, there are a variety of somewhat chronic illnesses that are particularly specific to uh, aging populations and senior citizens are now characterized and identified as being at age 55. So what we're seeing is that uh, whether it's osteoporosis, diabetes, hypertension, um, this program is significant and important because it affords seniors an opportunity that may have income challenges to be able to make their, their dollar last longer mm -hmm. so that they don't forego getting their prescription medications. They don't forego taking care of some of the more pressing bills that they have on them. And those things would obviously reduce stress and provide a mechanism by which we can really see an improvement in the context, quality, and character of the community. What motivated you to start A Servant's Love? Well, I love seniors. I grew up knowing my grandparents, and you know, some people have that benefit, but some don't. And I've just seen the need throughout our community. Um, There's so many people that um, are just hurting. Very limited incomes, um, homes need repair, and everything like that. Well, we can't focus on everything, but what we can do and what we do well is provide food for um, our seniors. Uh, we currently have 200 seniors all over Mobile County. We have 12 sites, volunteers sites that work directly with us. We, on every given month, uh, we have a monthly distribution through our Senior Nutrition and Wellness Program, and every month we have anywhere from 50 to 75 volunteers that work with us to make this happen. We give them the non-perishable foods, we give them the fresh fruits and vegetables, which they have trouble purchasing because it's just not cost effective with what they have in their budgets. Um, but we also um, give them paper products and um, meats as well. Okay. So. So it's a community effort, and that means you. So if you can, mark your calendar for a tasty affair, that farm-to-table dinner. It is Thursday, November 16th, 5.30 uh, until 8, and you can see the ticket information on your screen, $40. And again, that helps the community. I want to thank you guys both for coming in and talking about this. I wish we had more time. This is this subject is right up my alley, everyone knows. <laughs> we'll have all the information posted for you, though, on our website so you can watch it and share it with someone you know. Look for it shortly on fox10tv.com.